Welcome back to John's Films. NVIDIA did something pretty cool this week. They took their RTX, or their ray tracing cores, in their graphics card, and they opened them up with a new utility called RTX Voice. Now, what this does, it takes all of your audio, both the microphone input as well as the speaker output, and you can route it straight through your graphics card. I know it's crazy, but it uses those artificial intelligence cores that are in it, the hardware accelerated AI, to filter for only voice prints. So it can identify any noise, like I've got right now a 3D printer running over here. And the challenge with that is that it gets a little bit of motor whine as well as the actual platform moving back and forth. So what are we gonna do so that we can clean that out? Well, today we're gonna test the RTX voice activities. I've been using it on conference calls all week to mixed results. Uh, to some extent, I've been able to type in some of these calls on a mechanical keyboard with the speaker sitting right in front of the keyboard, and nobody could hear it online, whereas normally I get a lot of complaints. So from a conference call perspective, it seemed to work, but we're going to test it today to understand exactly how well it works. Let's go look at it. Here we are. I am recording audio on my Audient Evo 4, but I'm routing it through the RTX voice utility. So my... OBS screen recorder here believes that it is actually talking to a microphone called NVIDIA RTX Voice. So now that we know that my audio is coming in and recording here in OBS while being routed through the RTX Voice utility, let me show you what happens if I start typing a little bit of stuff. Here we go. Got some noise while I'm typing. I think you can see that. And now what I'm going to do is turn on background noise suppression. Here we are again, typing with the audio suppression on. And I don't think you can hear it. So if we're just here talking and I'm on a conference call and Jackson comes in in the background and says, Dude, help. See, it's improved. You can't hear it. It's amazing the way this thing works because what it's done is it's learned through the stream which frequency my voice lives in. And when a frequency outside of that, whether it be a human voice or not, comes in, it cuts it out. This is a fantastic use of this technology and something I'm more than willing to toss a few extra spare RTX cores in my graphics cards at. Really, really fun. So this is something I probably will start using in recording. I'm sure that's a major no-no when you're talking about cinema films. But uh, it's better than my ears at singling out frequencies. So I'll let it do the work. Heads up, people. This is Later John here to show you how to do this in a GTX graphics card. This is something that just came out. Windows Central seems to have found it. Not sure if they really did, but that's where I found the article. Uh, you, so you would do the standard install as you'd look like, but when it fails, they give you some steps. So head over to Windows Central if you want to learn how to do this on your GTX graphics card. Well, there you have it. In the right environment, this thing seems to work pretty darn well. Um, I'm really blown away by how well it works. All right, everybody stay safe. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Like and subscribe if you would, and have a great day.